what's going on YouTube, this is Redline Revs. A common fault on the VW Group vehicles, Seat, Skodas, Audis and many other cars is this annoying ticking sound from the indicators when you're driving along, even when you're not indicating. What I'm going to show you today is the best way to fix that. Okay, so the hazards and the indicators aren't actually working correctly, it's just that we keep getting the ticking sound um, randomly and sometimes after shutting off the indicator. Before you go ahead and replace your indicator stalk or anything like that, um, or change any relays even, the first thing we're going to do is clean it up. Um, I don't know how well you can see over there, but there's a lot of dust around that area. Um, it can be difficult to keep clean, um, and all of that dust and residue can build up after a while. And the first thing we're going to do is clean that up. And um, to do that, what we'll be using is uh, this stuff, WD-40 uh, contact cleaner. Forget the WD-40 there, all this is is electrical contact cleaner or switch cleaner. Don't use normal WD-40 because you will fry the electrics with the oil if you do that. So you want to use any kind of contact cleaner. Mine's WD-40 contact cleaner. Um, and also a can of compressed air as well uh, could help. Um, all right, so... Give it a shot. Obviously you want the part to be switched off when you're doing this. Just get that in there. Short bursts, front and back. This stuff actually dries up very, very quickly. It leaves no residue. And it's got this pressured straw with your indicator into the different positions and spray in there as well. Okay, once you've sprayed that up with your contact cleaner, I'm just going to use some compressed air. Dry everything off. This should help blow that all round and dry it off inside as well. Um, and you can already see that's looking a lot cleaner. Um, what I would recommend doing is maybe leaving it for about an hour before you, before you start driving the car. Um, just let everything dry up. Okay, so I'm driving around and the problem stopped. Uh, the indicator ticking sound isn't coming on randomly um, and it's not remaining on after I've uh, shut the indicator. So that shows the cheapest and quickest and easiest way of fixing on the VW Group vehicles uh, the ticking indicator sound just, and that should solve your problem. So this is Redland Revs, if this helps you, make sure you comment, rate, subscribe.